my name is Shani Cole and welcome to my channel Handbags and Happiness where I share good information on handbags and related things to help you buy what makes you happy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. So today's video is a mixture of what I got for Valentine's Day. It's what I got for my family and my boyfriend Chris and also a few things that I picked up for myself. There is an unboxing at the end. It's from Kate Spade. It is a gorgeous bag. It's a classic, so please stay tuned. I'm gonna really quickly go through the gifts that I got for myself and from other people, and then we're gonna get into the unboxing. So the first thing we got are these cards from my sales associate at Louis Vuitton. We went to Louis Vuitton two days before Valentine's Day on my Valentine's Day shopping date, and um, they were doing hand calligraphy. I'll insert pictures because I don't think they're showing up on camera. But they were doing hand calligraphy and they gave us these beautiful cards. I am not a flowers person. Every year Chris buys me flowers. Uh, he buys me tons of flowers. Sometimes he buys me two bouquets of flowers. He goes to some his guy, his man, and buys flowers. But I saw a YouTube video about these forever flowers that last a year. And I was like, that's great. Because the main reasons why I don't like flowers is because they die and then you have to clean them up. And they just get everywhere. So I was very skeptical about flowers lasting a year. So I told him, let's try these out. There was a promo code that one YouTuber um, had. So I said, let's order these. Let's see how they work out. He ordered them for me. He did it all by himself. So I was like, yes. And here they are. They are from Rose Forever. And we just got a small little round dozen of these are pink. I will say they are prettier than I thought they were going to be. And they... I mean, I've had them since Valentine's Day, and today is the, I think it's like a few days after Valentine's Day. It's so bad, I don't know what day it is. That's COVID, COVID brain, you forget what day it is. But we got the little small one. These smell so good. I love them pink. They're like a blush pink color, so they'll match my bedroom. And yeah, so far they don't look like they're going to die. So the next gift I got was from my mommy and daddy. And they just got me, like, my parents got me a lot for Christmas, so I didn't expect anything for Valentine's Day. And don't sometimes feel like Valentine's Day and Christmas, they just kind of run fast, ride it together. So my mom, my mom picked it out, but she got me this Jimmy Choo Fever. It's a new fragrance, or it's been out, it's one of their newer fragrances. It's not the classic, I've had the classic one. And she just got me the little small bottle of something I can try. My mom picks out all my perfumes. So, yeah, here it is. Yeah, it smells real. It smells really good. It's not as strong as the original Jimmy Choo, but it's sexier, and <laughs> I like to feel sexy. <laughs> anyway, so that's what my mom and daddy got me. So this month is February, which is Love Month because of Valentine's Day, but it's also Black History Month. And me and Chris wanted to support some Black businesses this month, especially small Black businesses that are suffering maybe a little bit because of this pandemic and the economic effects it's had it's had on people so we went to mahogany books in dc it's located in anacostia and chris picked up a book i don't remember the name of the book he got i do remember it was about the african ivory coast and i got a book i really wanted i got the cicely tyson autobiography um this book came out either a day or two before she passed away and i can't wait to read it i love to read i love books I don't know if it's the attorney in me that because of law school, you just have to read a lot. And I just think she looks so stunning on this cover. So I am so happy. And Chris got me this for Valentine's Day. So it was the perfect gift. It might be, I think it's my favorite gift. So here's a gift I got for myself. And it's by Forever Mood, which is Jackie Ina, who is incredible. Um, I think we've all been watching Jackie Ina for years on YouTube and she is just like a mega star now. So I wanted to support another black business and I picked up her candle. Obviously I got the purple one and this one is called Heartbreaker and I'm hoping I'm saying it correctly because it's, um, you spell it F-O-R-B-R. -R. So I think it's Forever Mood. I'm, I don't know. Anyway, so I got the Heartbreaker scent. This candle, you guys, is so pretty. Like the color, the purple, how it looks. It's just very pretty. It smells great. It's not a strong scent. It, it's like, I don't know. I'll leave the notes down below what's in this candle, but it smells good. I wouldn't say it's like something, oh wow, it's gonna blow your socks off and something distinct, but I, I think it's a great candle. It's beautiful and I like the look of it. 
because I will definitely, this would be the type of candle that I would use it for something else because I have a lot of purple in my house. So I would definitely use this for like a pen holder or something on my desk after I burn it. So I did get something from Tiffany's. It's very, very small. It's not that big. Um, we went to Tiffany's on my shopping date in City Center in D.C. And I was picking up some jewelry because what happened was I have several pieces of sterling silver that I've had for years. And during quarantine and lockdown, I was going through my jewelry and I was cleaning it and I purchased them. I went to the Tiffany store and I said I want to have it clean, but they weren't doing cleaning because of COVID. So I bought like the cleaning kit and y'all, I messed it up. And I broke one of the clasps on my, I believe my necklace. So I took it back in to get it cleaned and the class repaired and they did repair it for free, but the, the lady said it would normally cost $35. Long story short, I the necklace that I have from Tiffany is, is very chunky. It's that chunky chain type necklace, the a return to Tiffany one, which I absolutely love, but I don't wear it anymore because, you know, styles change. Like I've had that thing since I was in college, so... I like little dating notes. I especially like necklaces with my name on them or my initial on them. So I got this little, um, well, I didn't get it. Chris got it for me because <laughs> he's amazing. And I just got the basic return to, why does that always happen to me? Okay. So what Chris got me was just the return to Tiffany Hart. Uh, I just wanted something really small and simple. I do have another chain from Tiffany's that I'm going to put this on because the chain that comes with it is not the best. But I just wanted something small and dainty to have and I really am appreciative of him getting it for me. And I'm sorry I dropped it on the ground. I love you. And this was completely a YouTube influence purchase. So the day before the morning of me going to Joe Malone, I was watching Amaya Lux our her at home channel because she had has two channels she has their luxury channel and then she has a my at home i love them both i'm subscribed to both i watch them both she gave a one year review on her peony and blush suede i believe diffuser and i was like oh i need a diffuser because and she's talked about oh well it's expensive and it's a hundred dollar diffuser I mean, you can go get a diffuser for like 10 15 bucks but what she talked about was the how you could reuse it and how it's so pretty it's like a work of art and I got this one because I wanted to go, I wanted to go in my bathroom and right now they're doing, I live in a new neighborhood. I purchased my home a, like almost two years ago, but they're still doing mass construction. Like when you look out the window, I see, I have, I live in the woods area. So I have woods as my view, but I also have a lot of construction trucks and supplies and wood and a lot of other stuff going on. But for some reason... Because they have made our sewage smell so bad while they're doing all this construction. So I keep a lot of nice things because when you flush the toilet, the smell of the water is kind of funky. And so I was like, this diffuser would be the perfect thing. So it came in this box with this ribbon on it. We'll take it out. And there's a surprise to it. So wait. Here it is. I got the uh, Red Roses. Because I just fell in love with this scent. I fell in love with this scent from uh, Joe Malone about a, two or three months ago. And what is so special about this, you guys, is the day we went, they were doing a special promotion where you could get your bottle engraved. So when you turn it, and this is why I'm gonna, I'm, I bought it. Because when you turn it, there you go. You see my name, Shani Cole. And I'll insert a picture because I know the lights are not catching it good. But you can see my name is etched. You can pick silver or gold. And I chose silver because, like, my bathroom is silver and blush pink. So I when I'm done with this, and I'm, I'm going to refill it. And I'm going to turn on this side, and it's going to be like a work of art because it has my name on it. So that made it definitely worth the price to me. Okay, so the last item I got for Valentine's Day came in this box. And I bought this actually before Valentine's Day. Uh, it's from the Kate Spade Boutique. You know, I love Kate Spade, but recently Tory Burch, as far as contemporary designers, the two brands that I've really been feeling are Brumman and Tory Burch. But I still love Kate Spade. In the last two months, I've been purging my closet and I've actually sold every Kate Spade bag I have. So I have no Kate Spade bag. This is the first bag that I'm starting over with, with my Kate Spade collection. 
I found this bag in the boutique and I got a great deal on her and I was like, this is the perfect bag for me for Valentine's Day. So let's open her up. Kate Spade dust bag. It looks like they threw in a new sample of their new perfume, which is nice. I will definitely try that out. And here's the bag I got. Okay, it took me like four minutes to get that knot out. Like, whoever tied that was a Girl Scout or a Boy Scout and could just tie any knot. Oh, so the handles got kind of smashed. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Okay, well, here she is. I'm kind of sad that the handles got a little smashed. The bag I got is the Large Margot in the color Red Chili. She has four feet. Now the Margot is a classic Kate Spade bag. I hope my handles pinned out. I'm kind of sad about that. I don't have any red bags. I have one red bag and it's a Brumman little Marley bag. So I was like, I need a red bag. And I got an awesome, awesome deal in this bag. I paid $130 for this bag. This bag retails close to $400 for this size. This is a very popular Kate Spade bag it does come with the shoulder strap which is adjustable to make it cross body and oh oh so the rings for it are inside of here so i clip it here and clip it there So the Margo has, it's pink on the inside, which I love, and it's a leather inside. And so it has two outside compartments, and then you have your inside zip park pocket. The hardware is gold. And then this side, this the inside pocket is lined with the signature pink Kate Spade lining. You have a zip pocket here on one side, and there's nothing on the other side. So you have a zip pocket, and then you have a snap pocket. But yeah, I'll insert some mod shots and the dimensions for this bag. I'm not going to go into too much detail because this video is already too long. But this is my Valentine's Day bag. She is very gorgeous. Like I said, she is the Kate Spade Margot, which is one of their classic, classic silhouettes. They will always probably sell this bag until they just come up with something better. And the color is red chili and the hardware is gold. There's Kate Spade embossed on the gold. This is a nice pebbled leather. It feels very nice. It feels very structured. But we're going to have to work on them handles. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day. I know I had a wonderful one. I didn't do anything, but I was truly blessed with some amazing gifts. I got to spend it with the person I truly love. And I think that's what's most important. It's not what you get. It's it's the time you spend with the people you love the most and that love you. And that's just priceless and irreplaceable. So, yeah, I just feel really blessed. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until the next one, be safe and be happy. Bye now.